Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing projectiles under kinematics, still on engineering science and four. My name is Seppo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this. Click that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. In projectiles, we are dealing with parabolic motion. An object can only travel at a parabolic path if it is projected at an angle. And we know that whenever we have a velocity that is projected at an angle, it will develop two components, which is the horizontal component and the vertical component. So if this is you, this will be u cos theta. And this will be u sine theta. The horizontal component is responsible for the displacement of the ball or the displacement of the object that is being projected. And the vertical component is responsible for the maximum height reached by the by the object which is h whenever we deal with the vertical component we take it as if the object was projected vertically upward and whenever we deal with the horizontal component we take it as if let's say this is a and this is b we take it as if the object was projected straight from A to B at the velocity u cos theta. And then this is u sine theta. So... <laughs> The time it takes for the object to move from point A to point B, let's say the time, let me write the capital T, the time it takes for the object to get from point A to point B will be two times the time it takes for the object to get from A to the maximum point to the maximum height, maximum h, max h. Because when the ball is here, which is the maximum point, it will only have traveled half of the displacement. So we know that the ball, when, when the ball is now coming back to the ground, it will take the same time it took from point A to point, let's say this is C, point C. The time from point A to point C will be equals to the time to point C, from point C to point B, which will be the time from point A to point B. So the time it takes for the object to get from point A to point B is two times the time it will take for the very same object to get from point A to point uh, C, which is the maximum height that the object or our object will reach. So, whenever you are told in a question, and then they say, maybe they give you a question, and they don't give you the angle, and then in the question they say, calculate for the maximum distance. You must know that always when they say maximum distance, your theta or the angle will be 4 defined. Whenever you are told that, uh, whenever you are told to calculate for the maximum distance, this is the angle that you are going to use. So, I have an exercise that we can do and see how do we apply these things. I will erase this. Hopefully you have copied and 
we, we won't have a problem. So my question says, an object is projected at an angle. Let's write the parabolic motion, the parabolic uh, path of 45. And then the, ve the, the velocity of the object is 160 meters per second. So from here we know that the horizontal component will be 160 cos 45. And the vertical component will be 160 sine 45. And then we look at the questions. They say the question calculate calculate the maximum height and in this section the displacement and the maximum the, the, the displacement and the maximum height are the main things that we will be calculating and our question they say calculate for the maximum height and number b they say calculate for the displacement displacement we start with a we said whenever we are dealing with the horizontal component we take it as if the object was projected vertically upward which is what they asked us to calculate which is the maximum point or the highest point that the ball will reach so this at the distance that they are looking for so what is it that we know about this uh, this part of our projection is that our initial velocity u will be 160 sine of 45 and then we know that at the top at the uh, we know that at the highest point our final velocity will be zero meters per second another thing we know about this is that gravitational acceleration will be acting against the motion of the object as it is going up the gravitational acceleration will try to stop it or will try to bring it to yeah will try to bring it to a stop and then these are the information that we know about this and then we are looking for s which is our um, h s is for distance so let me write these formulas down for you and then come back to our question we we look we are looking for a, a formula that can help us find the value of s using the information that we have so we will use this formula, which is S is equal to V2 minus U, V squared minus U squared divided by 2 times G. And then we substitute V is 0 squared minus our U at, let's calculate the value of U. Our U will be uh, 160 sine 45, it's uh, 113.5. One three seven meters per second. And then we put here one one three is one three seven squared divided by two times negative nine point eight one. And then we get that our answer is this is two. Our answer, our answer is six five two. 0.395 meters so we are done with the first part of the question where they wanted the maximum height reached by the ball which is this point right here so this is the value of the maximum point and then we go to the the second part of the question they say calculate for the displacement and i said that whenever 
you are told about the displacement. And since we have our horizontal component, we will take it as if the ball was projected or whatever the object was projected from A straight to point B. And this is what we are asked to calculate, which is the displacement. So what we know about this is that our U is equal to uh, 160 cos 45, which will give us 113.137 meters per second. This is our initial velocity. And then our final velocity will also be zero. Our final velocity will be zero meters per, let me write it here, it's zero meters per second. And then what else do we know as the gravitational force is acting against? It's one, it's negative 9.81 uh, meters per second square. And then we come, we are looking for the distance from A to B. So in this second part of the question, we cannot use this formula that we used to calculate for the maximum height. Why? Because the gravitational acceleration, since this ball is not moving upward, according to the horizontal component, gravitational acceleration is not the main aspect that is trying to bring this ball to rest. Therefore, we cannot use this equation. So we have to find another way to calculate for the displacement, but this is not it. Let me erase this, we are done with. So we said that the time it takes from A to B, it's equals to twice the time it takes uh, for, the, for the object to get to the maximum height, which is M, which is H, sorry. Max, which is H. And we have this formula. We know that displacement or distance, it's equals to uh, the horizontal component, that's horizontal component here, times the time it took the ball to get from the point to the initial point from the initial point to the final point. Since we know that time is meters per second, velocity is meters per second and time is second. So if we have the initial velocity and the time it took from the, for, for the ball to get from A to B, we can get the distance, uh, the displacement of the ball. And then we know that this will cancel out and then we will be left with M. So we go, uh, we, have, we first have to find the time and we can use one of the formulas here and we will be using this formula which says V is equal to U plus G times T. Our final velocity is zero. For, let's make T the subject of the formula which will be V minus U divided by G and this is zero minus 113.137 all divided by negative 9.81 which will give us and then we apply this because at the time that we are uh, the time that we are calculating for here is the time from here to here so to get the time of the ball from A to B, we will have to say times 2, which will give us the answer that is 23.066 second. And then from here, we say, from here we calculate our displacement, which will be uh, the horizontal component times the time it took for, for the object to get from A to B. And then our horizontal component, we know it's 113.137 times the time that we just calculated, which is 
066 and then our displacement is 2609.618 meters this is the distance from a to b and then yeah that's how we go about answering questions that are that involve parabolic motions so for today we will stop here from me to you my name is Tsepo. I will be back with another exercise. But for now, that's a ciao from me.